That's good. I, I don't know about you, but uh, as I get a little older, I, uh, I, think I, I think I get a little more perspective. You know what I mean? Don't you, we were just talking about that before, right, Sam? Like, you just, you, you start to, you gain a little more than you had when you were younger. And I was just thinking about, um, it's important that you, that you enjoy all the things that God has given you. And uh, a little known Bible verse, it's, uh, you know, it's 1 Timothy 6, 17, and it says, um, to put your hope in God, um, who richly provides you all of this for your enjoyment. Now, all this is for you to enjoy. The music's to enjoy. Uh, the food afterwards today, that's to enjoy. Um, and, um, you know, I have a little three-year-old, and, and I, I got to thinking about it this way. When I read that verse, it says, God richly provided all of it for you to enjoy. And I think the church doesn't talk about that verse enough. And, and I was wondering why. And I thought, maybe because we too often associate enjoyment with selfishness. Like, if you're going to enjoy something, well, you're just, you're just selfish. You're just thinking about yourself. But I got to thinking about it, and I said, well, it's, it's, it's definitely there. It's certainly a scripture that God wants you to enjoy. He, he gives you the stuff to enjoy. And I, I, then, I, then it hit me. Charlie, if we have a party, we have a gathering at the house, or it's a Christmas, or whatever it is, the only thing that I want is just be happy, just enjoy it. And then I realize when she's enjoying it, she's nice. And, and then it all, it all made sense, right? Because it's like, if God could get us to enjoy it, we'd all be nice. I mean, the rest is details. The rest of the Ten Commandments, they're details. It's just a subcategory of being nice. Like not killing each other, lying, cheating. <laughs> they're all subcategories of being nice. And, then, and it dawned on me, it's, we create these things and all, just, just enjoy it. Stop wanting what you don't have. Stop fighting with this. Stop wishing. Just enjoy it. And it's all there. It's right there for you to enjoy. But, you know, it can be tricky sometimes because what we do is we start focusing on the wrong stuff. And you're never going to enjoy if you focus on the wrong stuff. You can't because you're focused on what you don't have or where you aren't yet. And so for the, the, the summer, the guys are going to come back and do some music. This is like a, a mini message. But this summer, I was thinking about it, and I thought, what do I want for, for myself? What do I want for our church family? And what I thought was, I want people to believe that they're blessed. I want them to wake up in the morning and feel lucky. You know? That's what I want. Because we all... You know, we all have struggles. We all have things that we're facing. We all have things we're trying to overcome. There's no doubt about that. And that gets a lot of our focus. But as I started the series, I was talking about, you know, a lot of things already went right before you got here. I know the things that went wrong. Like, again, I forgot Charlie's shoes. <laughs> How many, something went wrong this morning. I mean, you could focus on that. Some people, you know, don't, don't judge me. Just, I'm just saying I, I forgot her shoes. But... But a, a million things already went right. Last night, we were, uh, I was waiting. Uh, we were going to get together with the guys. We, we, you know, now when they come here, it's half work, half like friendship reunion. You know? And so we, we pack in some extra stuff. And, uh, and their flight got delayed. And then it got delayed. And then it got delayed. And Vicky finally goes, what's wrong? You know, like, why, what's wrong with these people with the flights? And then, I started, and then it dawned on me. Earlier in the summer, I was telling you about, like, when my boat wouldn't start, remember? Like, e everything has to work on the boat for it to start. You know what I mean? Well, one wire, there's a lot of wires. There's a lot of screws. There's a lot of knobs. There's a lot of things that have, everything has to go right for it to start. Then think about an airplane. That much more complex. And do you want it to not go right? You want, e so there, you know, Ask someone who builds airplanes, I don't know, but there's thousands and hundreds of thousands of parts, and you want all of them to work right, right? And then you add on top of that, 
that not only is that important, but then you have to go to an airport that has all kinds of other things like weather and all these other factors and then sleepy pilots and regulations. And how many know there's a lot of things that have to go right for you to get on an airplane and go from there to there. And we take it for granted until it doesn't go. That's been the message. That you landed, lucky you, you landed on a spinning rock 93 million miles away from the sun, just the right distance. Lucky you. Every one of you should go listen to some of the astronauts that have seen our planet from space, and they will tell you, that's one lucky rock, and you got to land on it. I haven't even got to the human body all the millions of miracles that are making things work for you miraculously right now. But if you wake up in the morning and you believe that you're blessed or you start intentionally enjoying your life, you're going to be a different person. You're going to be a kinder person. I could throw in all the Christianese that would help you, but you're going to be more Christ-like. You're going to be more loving. You're going to be more compassionate. But the, the bottom line is you're just going to be nicer because you're happy. Perhaps enjoying our life is a choice. When you see everything, you just have to make a decision. Am I going to enjoy it? Am I going to enjoy it? Am I going to notice it? Or maybe I will notice all the things that aren't there. I have a kind of a simple theme message for Orchard Grove. God with us, God for us, God in us. Say it together. Ready? God with us, God for us, God in us. And over and over again, the scripture says, I'm with you. I'm with you. The other day, I go get Charlie out of the crib, and she cries, and, you know, I come up there, and she wants to know, like, how did you get here? How did you know I was crying? She's trying to figure it all out. She knows about that camera there. She's got some sense of what it is, but she's like, Daddy, Daddy, were you watching me? I said, I sure was. And she gets a little scared, you know, certain rooms, if there's, if there's dark and the, there's no light coming out of it, she wants the door shut, you know. And she's, she's a little bit scared of things dark, and she wants to be reassured, I, were you watching me? And I think that's it, you know. If you could wake up every day and know God's watching, it's okay. So I pick her up, and I say, let, let me tell you something, sweetie. Dad's always, always going to take care of you. You can count on that. I'm always watching, right? I don't have to fill in all the details like sometimes I'm out of state and hopefully someone else is watching. But, you know, anyway, the main thing, right? God has a better program than I do. How many of you know what I'm talking about? But he's always watching you. And he's always with you. Jesus ends, you know, in the, in the Gospel of Matthew, he ends with, and I'm with you always. Go do the stuff I told you, which Jesus redefined it. He redefined it, which I think we, we sometimes don't get. He gave new definition to it. Love God and love people. He, he put in the new, this is the new system, right? Go get a shirt. Love God, love people, period. End of Jesus deal. <laughs> a lot of people add a lot of stuff under there, but do this and make sure you do this and do this and make your pastor happy and da-da-da. And love God, love people, Period. I mean, that's from Jesus, so it's a good, good source. And he says, just go do that stuff, and I'm with you always. And so if I take Charlie somewhere, if she's unsure, what does she do? Comes in, right? She comes in close, grabs the leg, right? Grabs the leg. I want, I want to know, are you with me? Are, are you, is this okay? You know, these people are different. I don't know these people. And life can be that way. We're, we're all just grown-up toddlers going into different environments and not sure if it's safe, not sure if we're okay. And all you got to do is lean in and God's there. He's with you. He says, I'm with you always. And I'm for you. If God is for you, it doesn't matter what's against you. That's a game changer. It doesn't matter what's against you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how big. God's for you. <laughs> and the, the statement to end all statements is God in us. Read it in 1 John. 
Read it, it's all in the Gospels. Who lives in us. And if you know that God's in you, dwelling in you, that changes everything. So today, I just, as we're going to sing some more songs and enjoy, enjoy it. Enjoy the music. When we're done, enjoy the food. Um, go out in the atrium, enjoy some free ice cream, right? Enjoy, because God gives all this for our enjoyment. And when you're enjoying, I think that that's the best version of you coming out, don't you? And when you have that, Jesus says, let my joy be in you, right? I want my joy to be in you, and your joy will be completely full. And so I want to say a prayer, a prayer for uh, all of us to open our eyes every single day and not just believe that we're blessed. You're not blessed if you got bumped up the first class. You're not blessed, you know, if you, if you got an increase in your job. But that's great. That's wonderful. We're blessed to be here. We're beyond blessed. A million miracles are ready this morning. Our loving God, we thank you for your blessings. That just to open our eyes today, we're blessed. To watch that sunrise, we're blessed. God, help us to live believing and feeling and knowing that we're blessed so that we can be a blessing. Because when we're enjoying it, then we're spreading the joy to others. Let that be our story. In Christ's name, amen. Amen.